Hi everyone, my name is Alejandro de la Serda. I'm here with the Herberger Institute Office of Student Success. And today we're gonna to talk about what it means to drop a course, what it means to withdraw from a course, and what it means to do a complete session withdraw, and the differences between those things. So we're gonna to wanna to be on our homepage of my ASU. We're gonna to wanna to be on the My Classes tab. And so for this example, we're gonna be looking at classes for the upcoming fall 2023 semester. So on any of these classes, you can go and click on the little calendar icon and it'll bring up information about drop and withdraw deadlines and what these things mean. And so we can see here for this class, it is session C and depending on the class that you're clicking on the calendar icon for, for whether it be a session A, B or C, this information is gonna be different because those deadlines are different. So if it is a session A or B class, then we'll see different deadlines here, um, but the information we're going to be relaying, um, they will work the same. So we're gonna see here that the drop deadline for session C for this upcoming fall 2023 semester is August 23rd, 2023. We see that this is the last day to drop the class without receiving a W on your transcript. So essentially, if you do have, if you drop the class before the deadline, you will be able to not have any Ws in your transcript and it'll be like you had not taken the class. So you won't have to worry about that. We can see here, that if you do it by the course withdrawal deadline of November 1st, 2023, it is the last day to withdraw from the class while staying enrolled in other classes in the same session. After this date, a withdrawal from this class is only available as part of the complete session withdrawal. So if you do it by this deadline, we can see that um, instead of not having anything on your transcript, you will receive a W on your transcript. Um, although I will say the W does not affect your uh, impact or have any effect on your GPA. However, if you do it by the course withdrawal deadline and not the draft deadline, the W will appear on your transcript. And we can see the last thing here, we have the complete session withdrawal deadline, which is December 1st, 2023. This is the last day to request to complete withdrawal from the session. As part of the complete withdrawal, you must withdraw from all your classes in the session. Beginning the first day of the fall and spring semesters, undergraduate students are required to work with their college slash school to facilitate their withdrawal process. And so here we see, instead of just individually dropping a class or individually withdrawing from a class. If you want to do a complete session withdraw, it'll take you out from all of the classes in a certain session. So if you're doing anything in session C and you want to do a complete session withdrawal, it'll take you out of all session C and the same thing goes for session A and session B. And so most of the differences between dropping a class, withdrawing a class and doing a complete session withdrawal and how those things work. I hope this helped and I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you have any further questions, please give us a call at 480-965-4495 or give us an email at herbergeradvising at asu.edu. And during the fall and spring semesters, we do offer express advising on Tuesdays and Fridays. Thank you.